Hey everybody, I hope those sound clips helped give you a better idea of what the Yamaha bass clarinet can sound like. Overall, I'm really impressed with what this bass clarinet brings at the price range that it is. So first, let's talk about the price. Um, as of 2020 recording this, it is currently retailing for about $2,200 on Woodwind Brasswind's site. Um, I think the price is actually extremely good given what you get. Now they market this as a student instrument, but I would actually argue that it's not just a quote unquote student elementary school kid throw it around the band room. I'd argue that this could be used in many professional situations as well, um, especially for people that are in pit orchestras and community bands that are looking for uh, a cheaper instrument that could serve as a doubling instrument. Um, now what that means is that may not be your primary instrument, but you want a function functional and reliable instrument at a cheaper cost for those people. One of the things I like the most about this clarinet, and I think the way they cut the cost down the most, is that it's actually not a wood body, it's uh, ABS resin, which is a material that has been crafted to uh, resonate similar to wood, but it is not at the cost of wood, and that's what keeps the cost of this down so much. But the nice thing that they've done is a lot of times when you have a non-wood instrument, you end up getting this kind of gross, shiny plastic look, uh, and I'm kind of talking about Bundy, if you've ever seen a Bundy bass clarinet. <laughs> what they've done here is really nice because it is uh, this ABS resonite, but then they've also brushed it and made it matte, so it actually 
even from a foot away, it looks kind of similar to wood. It looks like wood. In terms of sound and projection, I have to say that this is incredible. Um, I'm blown away by the fact that this is not wood. It seems to resonate and has such power and volume, very similar to wood. If you want to hear this played more, I have videos on YouTube of me playing bass clarinet. Pretty much any bass clarinet video in the past four years is this instrument. But I also have an album on Spotify and iTunes and Google Play uh, that is Breath of the Clarinet Quartet, which I use this bass clarinet in every single song on that album. Um, so that'll give you a better idea of the level of tone and projection of the instrument. One thing to note about this instrument, I believe it is tuned to 442, which is two cents above the standard A is 440 tuning. Um, a lot of people had gripes about this. I think those gripes are ridiculous. As a musician, being off by two cents is literally nothing, especially with the ability on this instrument to move the neck in and out for tuning. The body comes in two parts. You have the option to pull this out or in a little bit when you're adjusting it. So that can also help to even out the tuning among the registers of the instrument. Now I'm just gonna go over a few of the downsides really quick. Um, the first downside is the octave key. I've noticed that this tends to be a little sticky um, and I've read on forums that other people have had issues with that as well. Um, this can be remedied by getting it replaced uh, and in the meantime using a dollar bill or cigarette paper is a good kind of in between. The second downside I've noticed is um, I wish the end peg had divots in it um, to help lock it in. I've had many situations where I'm playing and then all of a sudden it just sinks down and you're in the middle of a fast passage and you're just sinking down slow. And finally, it's not really a downside, but I do want to address the range. Uh, on bass clarinet, you usually have an option of buying a low E flat model or a low C model. So what that means is that the low C model has a few extra notes at the very bottom end. This end joint will be a little bit longer and have a few extra keys. And so that way you don't have to buy a contra alto clarinet to get those lower notes. I will have to say originally, I was a little worried about this. I was like, well, could I use those notes? And actually in the past four years, I think I've only needed to go down that low probably a handful of times. I didn't really need that and I didn't use it and considering the price difference that you might have to pay for a quality instrument that also includes that lower range would be drastically higher. I think that, you know, I'm okay with E flat. I would really ask people that are buying this for themselves if they would actually use that extra low range. Um, especially most band kids probably won't use that low range if you're buying this for a student. So in summary, I have to say I'm extremely impressed with this instrument. I think it blows away the dumb notion that you need to only own a wooden instrument, that only wood is considered a valid option. I think this shows that you can have a resin instrument that plays very well, it's very agile, and resonates very well. It's nice that it creates a more affordable option for parents that are, want to buy this for their student or even doublers that want to use this in a professional situation. Now my follow-up to that is if you are not as familiar with clarinets, I think the mouthpiece and the reed you use is just just as important, that's why I use a Van Doren B50 mouthpiece with this. Mouthpieces are one of the most overlooked parts of a clarinet, but that's where the sound and tone production begins. Um, so that's why I always advise getting a separate mouthpiece that's different than the stock when it comes with. Again, if you wanna hear more of this clarinet, it is on my album Breath of the Clarinet Quartet, which is available on iTunes and Spotify. Uh, I also use it on my album Afton Solstice. Uh, as well, so check those out if you're looking for some bass clarinet music. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my YouTube at youtube.com slash instrumentmaniac, Instagram at Luke PK, Facebook at Luke Pickman Music, Twitter at Instrument Mania, and then finally Patreon for sheet music and backing tracks. And I will see you next Wednesday at 5.30. Thanks for watching.